Hi guys, my name is Abdul Rahman Siddiqui, aka Pakistani Pepper. I'm a high school teacher and Google Certified Educator. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Screencastify to film your online lecture in Google Slides with your audio. I will show you how you can record your Google Slides with audio of yourself and share that with your class. Quick note, on my channel there's a bunch of tutorials for Google Classroom, Screencastify and similar teaching tools and some lighthearted comedy skits. If that appeals to your interest, consider subscribing. Now, let's get to the tutorial. This is Screencastify on Google Slides with audio right now. Begin by opening the slides you wish to record and narrate and by installing the Screencastify Chrome browser add-on. If you haven't installed and set up Screencastify, I've linked the tutorial for that below. Allow the Chrome browser's add-on for Screencastify to access your camera and microphone. Back in your slides, click on the Screencastify button and click on the Browser tab so you can share your browser. Also enable your microphone and webcam if you wish. Make sure drawing tools are enabled if you wish to annotate and hit record. And now, as you can see, it is recording my voice. So I can use this time to start narrating my presentation. So now I'll say, for example, hi guys, today we're going to be focusing on this learning target. I can develop a line of reasoning and commentary that explains it throughout an argument. And then we're going to have a full exam. You want to make sure that you review your own rubrics, which are in the notebooks and classroom, and create a checklist. So if you notice, person watching the video, that I actually took the pen tool on the bottom left to draw, and now I can take the eraser tool to do that. That's one of the big advantages of Screencastify. Now, create a checklist for one of the provided rubrics is something that I want to focus on. So I can also do some of the other things, like for example, I can give my mouse pointer a focus so they can see only what I want or full exam, whatever it may be. The idea is that I am narrating as I'm speaking and I can also draw focus and then I can my clicks can become visible to students. And as you can see, ultimately, I'm just recording my slides. So it's very simple. Again, your tab is being recorded as it shows you. So you can stop, you can pause, whatever it is. But what we did in the start, that is what you want to do in order to narrate your slides. Once you hit stop record, it will bring you to the video editing page. This is where you decide how much of your video you want to cut and where you want to share it. So you can share it to Classroom, publish it to YouTube, get an embed code, send it an email, generate a QR code, or simply download it onto your computer or export as an mp4, export the audio only, or even export as an animated GIF. You can even copy the shareable link because this video is actually saved in your Google Drive if you signed in with a Google account. So what I prefer to do is export it as an mp4. Fixed frame rate just means it'll go a little smoothly. 30 FPS is fine and export it. In a few seconds, it's going to be available for download, so download the MP4 and then it is saved on your computer for you to share as you wish. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below and I'll answer to the best of my ability. This is Pax Any Pepper saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day, guys.